I'm Sam Grobart, personal technology editor for The New York Times, trying out the new Kinect, the latest accessory to Microsoft's popular Xbox video game platform. Kinect is a new product, actually a combination of a camera and some sensors that see your body, allowing you to control on-screen characters with your body's movements. There's no controller required. If I put my hands up, he puts his hands up. Put my hands up like this, look at his hands. Look at them coins. That's what we're talking about. It's a new experience for Xbox 360, and I, everybody's excited because you are the controller. It's crazy. It's minority report status. That's how I see it. If Kinect is a success, it would probably write a new chapter in video game development, the previous chapter having been written by Nintendo's Wii. It could bring in a large number of new users and new consumers who never would have thought of themselves as video game players. Now, there is a lot riding on this, and there is one kind of unsure point, which is that this is a Microsoft product. And if there's one thing a lot of people know, is that Microsoft, while being really, really good with software, never been so good with the hardware. The Xbox is probably their most distinguished product and really the only major success that they can point to. Put your left arm out. There is a large pile of products somewhere in Redmond, Washington, collecting a lot of dust that got a lot of attention when they first came out, and then nobody ever bought. With the holiday season just approaching, there are going to be a lot of people paying close attention to see if this latest product from Microsoft, something that by the company's own admission they've spent a lot of time and money on, is going to be something that really pays off where it's just another major Microsoft release that nobody really cares about. For The New York Times, this is Sam Grobart. Thank you. Thank you very much.